Hello, Bill Hayes again. Well guys, today I'm going to introduce to you the archery plates. These are some of the niftiest little things you've ever seen. Uh, you, within literally five seconds you can convert most, uh, most slingshots, the ones you buy at the store, into a uh, sling bow. And it's very, very, very simple. Uh, but I'm gonna, today I'm going to show you a way to, to do it to where it's a little bit more of a permanent solution. Uh, what you do is you, you choose the correct archery plate Notice that they have two different alignments on the uh, on these slots right here. It's to accommodate whichever kind of uh, arrow knocking that you have. Some arrows are knocked so that the uh, cock vein, that's the different colored vein, is in line with the uh, is in line with the is in line with the uh, uh, knock this way, and some are this way. So uh, this one right here is kind of in between. It's just a Walmart arrow, so of course it's in between. So this is lined up this way, so I'll, I'll pick the archery plate that fits that particular alignment, which is this one. Because when it goes through this, it needs to not drag or anything, okay? So this is the one I'm gonna choose. This one right here is for the one that's the other direction. So I'll take that off. I put that on to here like that you just slide it on there see how that goes it slides on there with friction this snaps on there and notice that it's nice and stable firstly you can take it and you put your arrow on here notice that when i put the arrow on here it has a little bit of a snap on there that way it doesn't fall you know it can't come back up when you're just holding it at an angle like this it'll if you hold it at whatever angle it and come back out of that of that you turn this to where it fits the uh, angle of those of those right there. Put it on there. You can use your fingers and using the pouch itself, hold them like that, draw and fire. But I'm going to show you how to knock this arrow on paracord instead. Okay, that way it's a little bit a little bit more uh, more stable. You take your pouch. Notice on these big pouches right here, they have these big holes on the sides. Put it in like that. And you simply run it through those holes. Like that. Make a simple knot. It's hard to do holding it in front of the camera like this but anyway you take it and you cross it over knot it pull it a little bit tight and tie that off cut the excess off and you're ready now What's really good about these slingshots like you buy from Walmart or wherever else like that, these old daisies and stuff is, this pouch, you can hold a lot of weight with this with your fingers, okay? It acts like an arrow release almost, it's so it's, you can hold so much weight with it. This one here, you just hold it by the pouch, you pull, line up your arrow, and then fire. So you do it like this, snap it on there, turn this so that the uh, knock lines up with that A little bit of a uh, paracord there. There it goes, and it snapped in there like that. All right. Now I generally take it right here, and I put the one the one vein that's sticking up right here on the top of the bands, and the others below it. Go over your trusty chronograph. Woo! That thing shot pretty fast. All right, and you go over here, take the camera over here and see exactly what kind of a... Uh, let me see if I can see this. There we are, 149 feet per second. And that's straight off the shelf from Walmart. Now, if you wanted to make it a little bit faster, want to make it a little bit faster 
you would use something like a carbon fiber arrow, which would be about half the weight. Uh, this is a hundred grain. This is a hundred grain uh, tips on this, and these are just solid aluminum arrows. Very, very uh, heavy, actually. Good hunting weight arrows. Bought from Walmart along with the slingshot. And uh, again, that's how you use it. Now, I do recommend that uh, as you're doing this, you can get the uh, you can get the type of uh, a uh, slingshot that has the little brace on it too that helps some people out but you know as you saw right there you can shoot 149 150 feet per second without any uh, any problem at all with just the cheapest slingshot you can buy from walmart this is like a uh, six bucks arrow is another uh, four dollars so you got ten dollars these plates right here are uh, for both plates they're going to be 9.95 so so right at 20 bucks you got yourself a sling bow that can shoot 150 feet per second and it's also very precise.